Could your cookware be making you sick, weak, and infertile? I have good news and I have bad news. <laughs> the good news is that things seem to have gotten better. There's more consumer protections now. However, the bad news is that these things can still be making you sick, giving you toxic fumes, leaching contaminants and poisons into your body. So I'm going to include a lot of the scientific studies in the caption, but let me explain it to you and what you can do to stay healthy. The good news is a lot of the worst, most egregious Teflon pans that had the worst stuff in them were phased out. And you only need to worry about that if you are using older pots and pans. However, even the newer nonstick pans, if they get to 500 degrees, release toxic fumes that'll make a human sick and will kill your pet bird instantly. It's really crazy. And if you have a pan on high for a couple minutes, it can hit 500 degrees. So it can happen and you need to be really careful. And as you, it degrades, it gets older and the stuff chips off and it goes into your body. Supposedly it's inert, but do you really want to be consuming that anyways? So alternatives, options, you can use stainless steel. Personally, I like to use cast iron. I use cast iron. Now there's a second issue though, which I wanted to talk about because we're talking about cookware in general and that's plastic. If you are microwaving plastic, if you are heating things in plastic, if you're using, if you're washing plastic, if you're storing things in plastic, if you're putting hot food in a plastic Tupperware, that's where the leaching and contaminants come in. That's actually maybe even more of a concern where now you've got the endocrine disruptors, the xenoestrogens, the environmental estrogens that are causing you to have hormone problems and potentially making you sick in other ways. So again, I'll put more information in the caption down below. For that, just pay attention to what you're buying. The glass stuff and the silicone stuff that's a little bit better, but just pay attention to what you're buying. Try to avoid ever combining heat and plastic together and really try to reduce plastic. Don't Try not to put your food, food in plastic if at all possible, but the worst combination is heat and plastic and also reusing plastic, like plastic bags that break down. <laughs> There's a lot of microplastic in the environment already. You don't need to add it to your diet. So those are some tips. Go off kings and queens down below. Let me know what y'all think. And comment secrets down below if you want me to send you a free video on two health levers that are going to help you be more healthy and, and fertile and vital and feel good and be more beautiful. <laughs> and have more energy and all the good things. So just comment secrets down below and I'll send you that info.